Well, Mr. Prime Minister, Mrs. Fraser, our Australian friends, and our friends from America, today has been a great pleasure. As Prime Minister Fraser and I discussed bilateral issues and world questions, it was clear that the bond between us and the bonds between our two countries are strong. We're both committed to growth economies based on free enterprise. As the Prime Minister said, a philosophy can't be mere words. It must guide policy and be expressed in action. And this he has done, bringing down inflation, spurring growth by cutting government spending, limiting bureaucracy, abolishing unnecessary regulations, and cutting taxes. You know, we ought to try something like that here. <laughs> But in his words, Australia has, quote again, passed the ball to private enterprise, which has now picked it up and is running hard. Well, we in America are on our way to doing the same thing. And internationally, our ideas are also similar. We both recognize the responsibility of freedom and are prepared to shoulder it squarely. In culture and business, our societies cooperate to share opportunities, understanding, and friendships. We've hit on only one minor snag, and that happens to be sporting competition. <laughs> now, the America's Cup, I understand, that's friendly. We always win. <laughs> uh, but the U.S. Open is something else again. <laughs> and David Graham says he isn't through with us yet. But Australia, like America, is a country where anything can happen and where anything can be achieved because people are free. Australian history, Mark Twain wrote, is full of surprises and adventures and incongruities and contradictions and incredibilities, but they're all true. <laughs> they all happened. Well, it's the same way here, but that's our secret. We do not stagnate in a planned and withering government-dominated existence. We're free to be all that we can imagine. A few moments ago at the table, I was asking Mrs. Fraser, just checking out my memory to make sure it was correct. And that is a, a very wonderful day that is observed annually in Australia, commemoration of the Battle of the Coral Sea, the turning point in World War II, where once again, as we've been so often, we were allied. And I have on my desk the tribute that was rendered at one of those particular days of commemoration by an Australian and his recognition of the blood bond between Americans and Australians who died together to turn that war around and to make Australia safe. And uh, I didn't dare read it here because I don't think I could have gotten through it tonight. But uh, the dynamics of Australian way of life make her an even more powerful ally, and the vitality of her people make her an even stronger friend. So I would like <clears throat> to propose a toast to the Prime Minister of Australia and Mrs. Fraser, to the continued friendship and cooperation between our two countries, and to Her Majesty the Queen. The Queen. Thank you very much. <laughs>